What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be comparing an Omega NATO strap next to a Blue Shark brand Alpha Shark NATO strap, their flagship product currently. Is the Omega NATO strap really worth another $120 over the Alpha Shark? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. The Omega NATO strap. This one came with the Speedmaster. It has the Omega symbol there. Also has the Omega branding there. 20 millimeters, all black. I know they're different colors. Kind of wish I was comparing both colors, but these are just the two that I have right now. That's the Omega one. That's going to run you $150 if you're looking for that aftermarket. And this is the Blue Shark brand Alpha Shark NATO strap. And at the time of this recording, this is their flagship NATO strap. Have a look at it there. 20 mil. This is the Bond NATO. And this is going to run you 30 bucks if you want one of these. Now let's have a look and compare both. Let's check out the hardware first. The hardware on the Blue Shark Alpha Shark is a lot thicker than the hardware on the Omega. And because of the sleekness of the hardware, See this part here at the buckle? That means the holes are going to be much smaller. And on the Alpha Shark from Blue Shark, you get this big beefy part to the buckle and it makes the holes much larger. And because of that, you see all that fraying. I've had a lot of fraying and I haven't worn this in a whole lot. I'd say I've worn this maybe three weeks of normal use and that's a lot of fraying. And that's, that's just from it just rubbing on stuff, hitting stuff. It just frays. The Omega NATO. This top piece of hardware here has a little more slide to it where this one has only about one inch. I would say this is probably two inches. So a little more give here on the hardware. But I will say that down here, this hardware does a lot of this. And when it's on your wrist, it can kind of get crooked. And I think that feels a little cheap, especially for $150. And on the Alpha Shark, I mean, that's not going anywhere. So that's a look at the hardware. You can get the Alpha Shark on brushed if you don't prefer polish. I, I like the polish. I like beating polish stuff up. Now, of course, both of these are nylon. They both feel pretty smooth. This one is kind of a seatbelt weave. You can kind of tell there. It kind of looks like your seatbelt in your car. And you can hear, not a lot, but it's definitely got some, some texture to it. It's a smooth texture, but the Omega, or the Omega, the Omega has a much different texture to it. And there's almost nothing as far as sound goes. It's very smooth. It's a lot smoother to the feel than the Blue Shark brand. The Omega one's also a lot thinner. That's the thickness of the Omega one. And here is the thickness of the Blue Shark one. And there's a great way to see all that fraying that I was talking about earlier. That just kind of feels a little cheap, but hey, you're talking $120 less so you're, you can get three, almost four different colors versus just the one color of the Omega. And Omega does make a color just like this one, the Bond Omega for that Spectre 007 watch. But I think, again, that's 150 bucks. You know, in the seatbelt weave, I think it's durable. Seatbelts save lives every day. But there's just something that feels cheap about the seatbelt weave compared to what Omega's done here. And it's just perfectly uniform. And, you know, I mean, they're, they're selling a NATO strap for 150 bucks. The, like I said, the biggest thing I don't like about it is this. And I guess you could pull that down and stitch this a little closer so it doesn't move. But you shouldn't have to do that when you're spending $150 on a NATO strap. So that's just a big overlook from them. Now, I have been in touch with Joe from Blue Shark, and they have a new line of NATOs coming out because there is a market. People do want the luxury NATO strap like this. I mean, this is it's less stiff, it's smoother to the feel, it's lighter weight all around. I think it's a it's a better it's a better NATO. Other than this, this is the one downfall. But anyway, I talked to Joe, and they are launching a new product, and he is going to send me a Bond NATO, and it's supposed to be much similar to the Omega NATO, 
and it's going to be at a better price point. Now let's have a look at both of these on the wrist. There's the Speedmaster on the Bond NATO from Blue Shark, the Alpha Shark. That piece of hardware I was talking about that slides is just this piece. So it doesn't really matter a whole lot that that slides. You can definitely see the frame up top there. But I think it's a sharp looking NATO strap, especially for $120 less than the Omega. I mean, that's a great looking piece. And this has been on my Submariner and it looks great on the Submariner as well. And there's the Speedmaster on the Omega NATO strap. Just looks a little cleaner, I think hard to get that there we go that's a better shot just looks a little cleaner a little nicer but you know again it's hundred and twenty dollars more so certainly something to think about as far as price goes and there you have it guys I think there's no real question to who the winner is in quality of build here in these two NATO straps it's the Omega does that mean it's worth another hundred and twenty dollars mm, I mean that's kind of up to you I kind of don't think so. This one did come with the Speedmaster and it's a great thing to have to my collection, but I don't think I'd be looking to source the Spectre Bond version of this NATO strap. I think I'm gonna leave that up to another company to make something a little more affordable, but the exact same quality. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Blue Shark is gonna be coming up with next. Now, Joe has sent me out something in the mail. I should have it soon and we should be doing a video comparing this one and their new product, which there should be a video on soon. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, hit that like button, put it on Facebook, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.